Hey peeps, welcome back to another episode of 3 for Thursday, where I share three things about something on Thursday. I am your host, Gladdy from Heart Take the Wheel, your brand and business photographer. Now in this episode, we're going to talk about coffee, or rather, not coffee. <laughs> Let, let's dive in. A cup of coffee is a common and often expected prop in photography, right? It adds a sense of warmth and it's inviting. It also touches on that human element. A couple people might ask, why not just use your regular old latte that you'd be making yourself anyway, right? If I drink a latte every day, why don't I just use that in my photos? Well, here's the reason. One, I would like to drink that latte. When I'm making my coffee in the morning, it's for me and it's not work time yet, you know? It's like my morning routine stuff, it's not time for work. Um, and the second thing is, if I wanted to take a few shots, I would wanna do so if I were like ready and I'm literally just taking like two or three shots, not like a session worth of photos. Because if you do that, your coffee will get cold and you won't be able to drink it. So unless you wanna prepare an entire cup of coffee just for your photos, which there are cases in which I end up doing that because the coffee is such a central portion to the scene. Um, but most often than not, I don't wanna waste a really good thing, right? <laughs> so I, I end up kind of faking it and sometimes not really faking it, but you'll see what I mean. So let's chat about the three kind of ways you can make a cup of coffee for your photos. As you can see, I have a whole bunch behind me and I'll give you some close-up shots while we go through this. But number one is obviously some kind of real coffee, right? So if you are, like I said, ready, like you have a scene set up before you make your cup of coffee and you're just going to um, sh shoot a couple shots, like everything's ready, you just need to put a coffee in there and take the shot and you're done. You can drink it and enjoy your day, right? Then go ahead and do that. Another reason you could use, another way rather, that you can use real coffee is instant coffee. So that kind of stuff that's like in a jar and you could just pour it in and mix some water and you're good to go. That stuff typically, <laughs> I have it for some reason, but I don't like the taste of it. I don't drink it, I don't enjoy it. So I have it in my pantry, thought I'd just put it to some use, right? And the, the instant coffee that I used here um, actually does kind of froth up a little bit, which is nice for a different kind of texture of of coffee look, right? Now, let's move on to tea. So tea is obviously an option uh, for me because I have a whole lot of tea. And sometimes you just have to start digging in your pantry and see what you have. And if you're never going to use it, then use it in a new way, right? So that's what I use some tea for. I am a huge tea lover, but I am very particular, particular about the types of teas that I actually like to drink, right, and enjoy. So I get gifted a lot of tea and some flavors I just don't like. Some are just really cheap teas that I just have for some reason. I have big boxes of like just tea that I don't really plan on drinking on like a enjoying basis kind of thing. So I have just tea that's lying around not being used. You could put two to three bags to darken it up. And if you want, the cool thing about using tea is you can dual purpose it and have a tea scene and then take out the bags, have a flat coffee kind of scene, and then you can add some like creamer type thing, almond milk or something, and cream it up a bit for a third look. So the tea is cool because it's you can work with it in stages and vary it up and get like different results. So number three is kind of a go-to for me if I just want that flat cup of coffee look and I don't want a whole lot of fuss and muss. I, it's just soy sauce, guys. <laughs> soy sauce is easy because you just put a little bit in, you mix some water, you can darken it up by putting some more, and later on you could totally add some creamer if you want to cream it up a little bit. To give you some varied looks, I have some options here. Um, so this here is just a flat soy sauce. Nothing special about it. It's just soy sauce and water. Um, and then this one here that we have um, is soy sauce, water, and a little a little creamer. So um, I'll, I'll make sure you can see that, guys. So there you go. Those are your coffee options. I will say I've tried a few other things. Um, vinegar, when I didn't have soy sauce, I actually used some, like, dark malted vinegar or something, uh, or balsamic, I don't know. I used some vinegar and some water. The downside of that is we really like vinegar. <laughs> and two, um, I felt like I had to use way more vinegar to water ratio than soy sauce to water ratio. So um, 
I, mean, I just felt like it was wasting vinegar, and I think vinegar is a little more expensive than soy sauce. I don't know. Use what you've got, guys, and play with it. See what's in your pantry that you can mess with, and um, and and make some coffee for your photos. And I would love to see you try one of these, or let me know what your go-to coffee recipe is for props. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.